I don't know. It all depends on where the uh, four. four. <laughs> I'm saying four. Where the engine is. Wait goes. a minute. You know what it's time for? What? It is time to say goodbye to the vertical shaft 17 and a half horsepower engine for a 420 or 670 cc Predator engine. It's just it's just not reliable enough for us. We may try to shoehorn a 670 on there. We're at the very least just gonna drop a 670 in there and just see what it looks like. It may just be perfection. We might have to do it, but the plan is 420. So the first thing we gotta do is we gotta pop this thing up and take the uh, torque converter back off of it. Yes, we do. Oh! Oh my! Oh, there's that one. Can you press in on the clutch? Thanks, bud. That's one. Why did it jump again? All right, let go of the clutch. All right, engine's loose. I'm gonna let this thing down, and then we can undo electrical. Yank it. Is this the harness for the engine? I don't know. Don't need it anymore. Let's see. Wow, really? That is Oh, oh, oh dear. Uh oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> There's the steering right there, bud. Yeah, that's uh, definitely different from uh, go-kart. We might have to move the steering wheel and stuff maybe on top of this, kind of aiming forward, where it's more back. I don't know, it all depends on where the uh, four, four. <laughs> I'm saying four. Where the engine Wait goes. a minute. You know what it's time for? What? If we do this and we don't do it, I don't have a lot of disappointed people. The engine is off the rail right now because the torque converter is on the Harley Davidson. And we're also waiting to talk to some kind of expert about uh, the frame on the drag rail too. On both sides, it's, it's bent a little bit like a horseshoe. It's, it's not bad when we, we, we use some wire and we stretched it from the front uh, of the rail to the back. And right where the impact in is, it's got a bend in it and it's probably a sixteenth or two of a bin, uh, but it's not much. But I know that in the past, on like drive shafts and stuff, if, if the uh, integrity is compromised, it can it can just fold up like like nothing. So uh, I would like to talk to, or we would like to talk to some experts and make sure that it's going to be safe to run the rail again because the the frame has been compromised. All it right. happens. Yeah, it happens. So let's get back to <laughs> the lawnmower. To the lawnmower. Oh, 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 oh. oh, dude, it looks right. <laughs> I mean, like we can scoot it back in there a little bit too. Well, she's gonna be rubbing cover there. Yeah, I mean, I don't think we're gonna be able to. Uh, we're, we're gonna change the steering yeah. anyway. Yeah, we are. When you do away with the steering. Oh, it'll go way we back. We can go way back and then clear the steering, mm -hmm. probably. All right, what if we just put the biggest sprocket on it we can find, and we put a really beefy wheelie bar, and we just turn this thing into a wheelie machine? How 50 much? horsepower. 50 horsepower. We did 42 miles an hour of that worn out... 17 and a half. Yeah, which was not making 17 and a half horsepower. 50 horsepower. So I posted a photo on our Facebook and Instagram page of the 670 engine sitting on the lawnmower just to see what you guys' response would be. And it was like within like a day or two, like the most liked photo on our Facebook and our Instagram pages. It had almost 4,000 likes on Instagram and like almost 800 on Facebook. So I think we have to do this 670 on this lawnmower. It looks really, really mean sitting on this chassis. 
uh, and it fits really well. Just the, the main problem is just so we don't hurt ourselves, really. So we have the Springer Spindle Kit from GoPowerSports.com. We used it on the drag rail. We're using it on the lawnmower. It's also on the American Express Back to the Future cart. It's a great kit for any kind of custom project or even a repair. You can find a link to this kit in the description of this video and don't forget about our code CC10 to get 10% off to get an even better deal on parts and to help support us as well. So first things first, we're gonna jack the mower up, take the engine off, take the front wheels off to see if we can use these spindles uh, as our front suspension and tie in steering from there because these are gonna be a lot safer than the spindles we made two years ago. So I believe we're gonna have to cut these upper washers off. This won't pass through there with this washer in place. We gotta cut it right along there. And then when we take this, when this washer comes loose, this whole assembly drops down. <laughs> it was a C clip. Uh, we could always weld to that. Yep. Any height we want. Mm hmm And of course I'd want the spring at the top. But... So this is the factory steering and we're replacing it because, check this out, we have that much play in the steering wheel and no actual movement in the steering assembly. And that's just this piece. It doesn't include like the underside or the play that could be in the underside of the steering. So we're completely replacing this with a Go Power Sports rack and pinion. It's not a kit, but it goes to a specific go-kart, but I'm sure you can adapt it to whatever you need. You can find a link to it in the description of this video. Uh, so it's gonna work a lot better for us, but before we can go ahead and mount this, we need to take this side cover off um, and mount the torque converter on the engine and kind of mock the 670 up in here to see how much room we're gonna have for angle for our steering rod, because that's one thing, because we have this universal joint, but we can only get so much like angle out of it. So uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna remove the steering wheel, column, gearbox from this thing, and we are gonna take this plate off, and we are gonna put the 670 with torque converter back on here so we can see how much room we have for steering linkage. All right. Wow. Thing is in there, dude. Yep. Cool. Dude, I've been wanting that thing out of there since the first build. Yeah. <laughs> Haven't been doing us any good. It's heavy. <laughs> we got all kinds of stuff falling out. Um, all right. Hey, we got all that stuff that we can take out underneath. Anymore. Underneath the mower here, we have, right here is where the engine comes through, and usually there's a, a little pulley about the same size as, maybe a little bit smaller than this, here. And then you have a belt going here, to here, to here, which that's a jack shaft we installed, because when we lowered the mower, uh, the pulley is on top of the transaxle, and it got up there so far we actually had to do a jack shaft. And the belt hooks up to this exactly the same way as it would on a standard lawnmower. Look at that. Awesome. And now this can just twist on that. Let me grab a bolt. Alright dude, all we gotta do is set her down. Why don't you see how much, if you can tell a difference if it's lighter or not. I bet I can. I hope so. Look at that man. Cause she's gonna so be doing wheel stains just like that. Just like this. Yeah, I mean it's not, 
it's no featherweight, but it is uh, lighter than it was. You can tell the difference? Yeah. It looks like if we move the engine back another inch or two, then, then it would probably be in a good place because we don't want it back too far. So Ike is going to use the plasma cutter to cut away this piece of metal right here so we can move the engine back farther and so the front cover will still fit on. Hit it, buddy. All right, here we go. I mean, I never claimed I knew what I was doing. <laughs> I mean, like, I think just that view right there alone is enough to sell me on the whole thing. So we centered up the engine and engine plate to the chassis within about a 32nd of an inch so we won't have any chunkiness in the chain. And I'm just scratching a, a bare spot in the frame right now so we have a good solid place to tack weld. And we're gonna put a tack up here, tack up here, remove the engine, and then we're gonna work on steering. We decided to cut and re-weld the front subframe because somehow we got it over an eighth of an inch off center the first time around. That should be about it. And after we made sure it was level and centered on both the Y and X axis, we welded the subframe, followed by the Springer spindles. Dude, she's there. If you're enjoying the video today, press the thumbs up button. It'll help this video get seen by more people. We also decided to add 10 degrees of caster for better high speed stability. 10. Well that, uh, that'll get us somewhere. Yeah, it looks good, dude. Yeah, we can just throw those wheels on and see what it looks like. Yeah, sounds good. Perfect. Oh wow, like it was meant to be. <laughs> Other spacer? Yep, yeah. yeah. got it right here, bud. Dude, I'm gonna set her down. Set her down. Once we get the fuel tank and battery or wherever that's gonna go, it's gonna fill up that front area a little bit better. Well, we got that hood. Oh, the hood too. Yeah, I grabbed the hood today. We're gonna put that hood on this time. Sounds good. We saw some comments on our like Facebook and Instagram posts like, you can't take the rail apart. Well, that engine's going back on the rail. And if we use the wheels and tires, they're gonna go back on the rail too. I just guess the rail is taking an intermission until we decide or find out if the frame is safe or not yet. That is pretty sweet. Oh, they're it's cute. Wild. They are so cute. Yeah, those are tiny. Well, that... those are going to be fast around the, the track, though. Those tires. Oh, yeah, definitely. So that's all we have time for today, guys. We have a rolling chassis. And we decided to go forward with the 670 lawnmower. I think it looks awesome. I just hope it doesn't kill us. Facebook and Instagram at Cars and Cameras Reviews for sneak peeks on what we are up to. And don't forget to use our discount code CC10 at GoPowerSports.com for parts we used in this video or almost any go-kart parts other than racing parts. Anyway, Cars-Cameras for stickers and t-shirts. Those purchases really help us out. Uh, let us know what you think of the lawnmower. Finally, if you enjoyed today's video, smash that thumbs up button for us to help it get seen by more people. Help cars and cameras keep 
growing. Anyway, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Race mower.